Hey guys, it's Mr. Riz here. Uh, so for my computer classes, the computer science essentials and uh, even intro to programming, we're going to do a little warm up um, to start the year using this new program called Ozaria. This is made by the same people who did Code Combat. So we're not doing Code Combat because some of you guys have done that already and might have completed it. Um, we're going to try this one. It's the same thing. It's um, made by the same company. It's a little bit more advanced, which is nice and good. Uh, it should make the rest of the year easier for you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys how to log in right now and do the first couple levels. Later on, I'll do more playthroughs to help you if you get stuck. So let me go ahead and screen share right now what we, I am doing. I want to do, well, I gotta find the right one. All right, what I want you guys to do is to go to your Gmail and uh, I have just a fake student here and it looks like I don't have an email. I'm gonna check promotions, see if it comes in. And then you guys can see here it goes, Azaria. You've been invited to the classroom and it will say whatever your classroom is. This is just a made up one. There will also be a login code that I will link to the Google Classroom and Canvas page there. But um, you'll just click join and go through these steps. So, okay, we're gonna join science principles click next all right uh, I need to create an account so I've never used code combat or I'm pretending the student has never so I'm just gonna go ahead and just do sign in with Google I'm gonna say okay I'm Timmy student one two three and go through now if you have used code combat before this won't work In fact, that didn't seem like it worked so let me just make up a name here student123 at gmail.com username. Uh, you can make up your username, whatever. I'm just going to make it the exact same thing. Password. Okay. Start playing. Now, if you've used Code Combat before, you'll have to go down, click on the bottom where it says sign in. Uh, hopefully, you remember. If not, there's a password recovery that's real quick to follow through. But then let's start playing. So we are just going to play chapter one because that's the only free unit available to us. Right now, your assignment uh, will be get through the first 10 levels. And um, you can view the map. The map is just a visual place of where we're going to go to. And you can click if you ever get stuck. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and start right here. Now, the one thing about this is that there are uh, cut scenes. So we will watch that right now. Very interesting. All stories have to start somewhere. Yours began at the foot of the great sky mountain. Your life was simple, but good. Until the world became colder, the days became shorter, and even the very sun seemed to dim. You told the elders about the growing darkness, but they wouldn't listen. No one would, not even your family. But you had to do something. There are tales of a wizard who lives on the mountain, a woman who deals in magic with this. The path to her tower might be dangerous, but it's your only hope. With your trusty dog, Mouse, at your side, you head on the mountain. All right, well, first cutscene done. All right, so we get to customize our hero. I can make my hero's name. Boy here, oh, what color hair, skin color, can I make anything crazy like purple or green? No, oh, all right. Some blue hair, that'd be cool. What's his name? Skip. Okay, so the way this game works out is it's like a game off to the left side of the screen. They tell you uh, to start here what you wanted to go, but on the right side is like a Python code editor. Uh, now this is a very um, built in editor. So there's already preloaded functions, predetermined things, but you'll get the hang of it uh, as we move on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this. I can use hero.upmove to move along the path. Next. I hit the run button to see the code. So if I just click, well, Time to get the scarf. I think Hero will help you out. Okay, so if I just run it, guy just moves up. So I want him to move up again. I'm gonna say Hero dot move up. Oh, 
And you can actually, one thing you might notice here, you can type the whole thing out, but if you just press enter, it types it in for you and there's a one in there. So um, there's a lot of things here going on. We're just gonna go through and try to get used to it. And that's the biggest goal. Like in coding, there's a thing called an object, which here is an object. And then the method is the dot move up method. And then there's even procedures and other things like that within it, variables. But um, here we go, we'll run it. He moved up, then he moved up. We're at the end, cool. So there's the first level done. First practice level. All right, we're gonna go through all the practice levels at the beginning here together. And then um, hopefully you're gonna go on your own and I'll let you guys know how far I want you guys to get on the other red cloth. Here we go. So we gotta move around the, um, we can move either directions. I'll move up twice, move over to the right and then move back up. So we already got hero move up. I'll make him do hero move up again. Hero dot move right. Now I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard to highlight. And once I highlight the one I want, I'll press enter. It makes typing go faster. And then hero dot move up. I think that works. We'll run that up, up, right, up. Piece of cake, starting off easy. All right, use the item in the game. Finally, at the foot of the tower, but there's no way to ex accept a huge door, uh, accept a huge door carved into the side of the mountain. I guess I can only guess what's behind it. I got to get to the top of this staircase. Hero dot move left will come in handy. Makes sense. How do I open that door? Maybe hero dot use quote door. I can also check my code bank if I can't remember command. So I got the hero. And inside here are the different methods. And they even tell us, cool. Uh, see, we can learn some hints here. Like if I need to go three steps, I can hero dot move up three and it will move them up three times in a row. So yeah, this actually talks about like this object is hero, the method is move right. And then this three is what's called an argument. So when we use the use, Hero is the object, use is the method, and the argument is door. So that's what we're going to use. All right, so let's start this off. I got to get to the door. That's the first goal here. Well, I'm going to do hero.move left to move them to the left. Hero.move up, move them up. Hero.move right. Once he does that, does that, he is at the door. But we got to use the door. So hero.use. And then string, string is actually uh, the name we call any variable that has a name. It's a string variable. And the string that we're going to type in is door. And we're going to type it in exactly how it's typed in. When he uses the door. Cool. I learn you go break down a problem into smaller parts or sub goals. Okay. Sometimes you need to break down a big problem into smaller parts. Like in this room, I first focus on getting the lever and that's my first sub goal. So if we actually look over here, we got to get to the lever, use the lever, get to the door, open the door, get to the exit. So let's just run what they have already typed in for us and see what happens. He moves up twice. Moves left, uses the lever. Okay, so if I had to think next, I want to get to the door. So I'm going to have a move right again, right again, right. So right three times. So I can do hero dot move right, hero dot move right, hero dot move right. Now that is pretty repetitive, and we'll probably learn a better way to type that in. And then open the door, hero dot use or let's run this see what happens it goes up to the lever right right use the door okay so now we can see after we open the door we got to move up twice and then left one two three i think that's the only place we want to get to so let's do hero dot move up hero dot move up hero dot move left and i actually am going to use an argument here because it was in our code bank hero move left if I put a three in here, he'll move left three spaces. And that's that how many I want to go? One, two, three. Yep. So I'm going to put three here. 
Let's save a line of code. Run it. it uses lever, goes over twice, opens the door, up, up, and then move left three. I guess once he gets to that checkpoint, he automatically goes. All right, one more level up the tower. Let's see where this leads. If I have to move long distance, there's an easier way to do it. Hey, that's what I was just talking about. I can put a number into the hero.moveLeft3. This will take me how many steps I need to take. So not sure where the exit is, but I can check my goals to find out what to do next. I can also hit the run button to see what happens. I can add more code to finish off all my goals. So let's run this, see what happens. He moves left three spots, moves up two, left, just one. There's no argument. He used the lever. So that opened up that one. All right, so I think next we need to go to the door. Hero dot move left. Yeah, we can just say one. Hero dot use, we're gonna use the door. Sure, spell it right. I'm gonna assume we gotta do up twice. And then we gotta use the switch. So we'll go to the right twice. And then um, I think we just gotta go to the, oh, we gotta use the switch. Ooh, I almost forgot about that. Switch. Then here dot move right. Let's see this. Goes to the left, uses the lever. Goes to the left, uses the door. Up twice. Goes to the right twice, uses the switch. There we go. Different names, how to use different strings. All right, this place is still so empty. Where is everyone? Where is the sorceress? Who lives here? Learning goals. Use the jump method to break down problems into the sub goals. Okay. This war looks a little bit more complicated. The energy rivers have gone crazy and I need to jump over them. Ooh, okay. So if I just do hero jump right. Jumps. All right, he jumped over there. Is that a new method in here? Oh yeah, we got jump up, down, left, right. So if he needs to jump to the right three times, the same thing we can do there. Okay. So he had to jump right. Let's see if we can do this without. We need to uh, hero dot move right. Hero dot move up. Uh, use the door. Hero dot use door. Hero dot. We'll probably have to move up twice again. Assuming we'll have to use the lever, hero dot left, hero, then we would be right there at that spot. Now, these are pretty easy. We don't have to probably run, but if you ever wanted to just stop and pause and run this while we go, it's fine. So we use the lever. I'm gonna move to the left twice. So I'm gonna hear dot not jump left, move left twice. Then he would be right here. So I'm gonna have him jump. Yeah, I think I can just have him jump up. Hero dot jump up. Then hero dot move right twice. Okay, fingers crossed here. Jumps. This is the door. Up twice. Goes to the lever. Oh, I spelled lever. Oh. No, well, you guys saw an error there and it's been level, not lever. That little difference that makes a big deal. Jumps, uses the door, uses the lever, not level. Goes to the left, jumps, big jump. That guy has some amazing skills. All right. We'll keep calling through all the practice levels here together and then we'll call on. All right. I looked at the window. I'm almost, up. I can feel it. It's important to break down the big problems to small hills. Okay. Yep. 
Sub goes help, especially when things are hidden. Ooh, okay, I can always click on the run to figure out what to do next. Oh, did I click the wrong one? Uh, here, are hidden, there are hidden things in the room first, but I will focus on the switch and figure out what my sub goal. Okay, so let's focus on the switch. And let's try to do the door. Hero dot look up. Hero dot move left. Hero dot use switch. Hero dot jump left. We got jump over that wire. I guess we're in an ancient tower that's full of like super high voltage cable wire just running on the floor. Uh, then we got a here got used door. Uh, and I'm going to run and see what happens because I don't know what things are going to be hidden. Oh, I think. I should try different things and pick the run, but yeah, maybe there's like objects that put. Let's see. Should I like go over here to see if there's anything? I don't know. Yeah, let's let's do that. Hero dot move up twice. Let's do hero dot move left. Let's see if there's anything hidden. Nothing. All right. Well, I can leave that in the code. It's not going to move anything. I'm just going to have to do hero dot right. Hero dot jump right. Hero dot use lever. Let's run this and see what happens. Jumps, uses lever. All right, I don't really see anything hidden here, so let's just keep it as. Maybe there are some speed runners here that have done this. Hero dot move up twice. So then we'll have to jump left, and then we'll have to move left. Jumps, opens the door, goes to the spot we didn't need to, jumps, use the lever, jumps. I think they made it seem crazier. Like there's some hidden Easter egg. All right, you found Astro's lab. There are energy rivers everywhere, but what's that weird thing on the table? I need to get to that table. Once I'm there, I can use the artifact and see what it does. Okay, so let's get to there. We got to do the hero move up twice. Hero dot move left once. Hero dot move down twice. Hero jump left, jump over that energy river. Hero dot move up twice. Hero dot move right once. And then uh, we're going to use the hero dot use the artifact. Let's see what happens. Go. Yep. That's it. Okay. Turn the computer on. We're into the spirit lands now. All right. So I'm going to pause this video here. Uh, we'll continue with the next video I make uh, going over spirit lands, but this is just to get you warm up and started. And then if you guys need help, remember that I'm not always going to make videos for these classes to help you and assist you when I can't be there. All right. Best of luck. Let's keep this adventure going. See you next time.